Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start our multi-part series on building the Over the Rhine site in Flex. Now, if you want to learn more about Over the Rhine, just go to Wikipedia, type in Over the Rhine, and there's a little article here you can read about it. But better yet, stay tuned and check our site out when it's completed. Now, Chris Wilkie is the faculty member pushing this site forward in our faculty learning community. And here's his image. And uh, some of the main things he wants is a community site, a site where people can interact with a wiki and a blog, and update a site he already has online. Let's take a look at that real quick. And so this is Chris's site. And we're going to redo this site in Flex. Now, one of the great things here about Flex is that it is now free for educators. So let's go ahead and follow a link here. If you go to www.adobe.com forward slash products forward slash flex, come down here to a link called Free Flex for Students and Faculty. Just click on that, go through the application process, go ahead and download the trial version of Flex 2, and once you've faxed in your uh, ID or student letter, uh, you should receive a key code in about two weeks. We've had a number of people do this in our office and they now have Flex for free. And we hope that in the future they'll do this for all versions of Flex. So once you've downloaded Flex, we can go ahead and get started. So go to your Start menu, and Programs, and Adobe, and Flex. Now you can see I have Flex 2 and Flex 3. Flex 3 is presently in beta, but is soon to be released. So all the development I'll do here will be in Flex 2. But all the programming and coding I'm going to use in this program will work as well in Flex 3. And toward the end of this multi-part series, we will be converting this site to Flex 3. So go ahead and hit Flex 2. And once that comes up, let me talk a little bit about what's called a workspace. But in Flex, you have to create a workspace. And basically, it's just a folder that's going to hold all your projects. Now, here you can see I have a number of projects already. And uh, I don't know if I want to put my over the Rhine here because I have so many projects that are showing. So let's create another workspace. So go to File, Switch Workspace. So basically it's where I'm keeping all my folders. And let's go ahead and browse around. And we're going to go to the My Documents. And we're going to make a new folder. And we'll call it Over the Rhine. Okay, and we're going to hit OK, hit OK, and now what Flex will do, it's actually going to restart. So each time you switch workspaces, Flex restarts. So now that I've switched that workspace, I have a blank panel here, and I'm going to create my Flex project here. So just right-click on the screen, go to New, Flex Project, and choose Basic next and type in over the Rhine and what you've done here is you've created a flex project and this is where you're going to do your development just a few things about the file structure here is you have a bin folder which you'll pull out the files that you'll put on the web you have HTML template and you have basically what's called an MXML file which stands for Macromedia XML and when you click on it here in your panel here, you have a source panel and design panel. You have the code. I'm going to teach you how to build MXML code and actually how to work and switch between source view and design view. Specifically, what we're looking at right here is the navigator panel. And this is where all our new projects will be kept. And for this particular project, we'll be working with one specifically, and that's over the Rhine. So let's start designing. Now I know in this site I'm going to have images and videos and audio. And to keep things organized, I'm going to create those folders. So let's go over to Over the Rhine site and right click on it and go New Folder and type in Videos, Finish. And let's create an Images folder, New Folder, Images finish and type in or click on new folder audios great 
Now, where am I going to get all these images and audios? Well, I'm going to go to the site and get them. But Chris didn't give me his resource files, so how am I going to get those files? Well, in a previous tutorial, I talked about a program called HTTrack. We're going to HTTrack that site down to my hard drive and pull those images into our Flex project. Let me show you how to do that. So, first bring up HTTrack. And just go back and watch the previous tutorial on how to do this. Let's click Next. We're going to call this Over the Rhine. And navigate to the folder we're going to put it in. And we're going to put it in an Over the Rhine folder on my desktop. Click on OK. And so next we're just going to put the URL in there. And I've already copied it into my clipboard. And that's the URL of this website. And all I have to do right now is hit Next, Finish, and that entire site begins downloading onto my hard drive. And now I have access to whatever it took to build that site. I went ahead and paused this recording while we were HT tracking, and now it's completed, so I'll hit Finish. And no more tracking, so let's get rid of that. And let's take a look and see what we got. So I'll open up the folder over the Rhine. And inside that folder is a folder called Over the Rhine. That's what we tracked. And under www.nku.edu is a folder called Issues. And inside that is Rhine. And here's the full site. And what I'm interested in right now is the Images folder. And there's all the images for the site. So let's go ahead and copy and paste those. Um, and I'm about to show you the coolest thing you can do in Flex. Let's copy these images. Right-click Copy. And what we can do is we can go right to the Flex navigation panel, click on the images folder, right click and paste all those images directly into that folder. And that is super cool. So here are all the images. And now we can start bringing those in and working with them inside of Flex. Okay, let's do that. I have in my source design panel, which is the main panel in Flex, let's go to the design view. And I'm going to open this up a little bit so you can see the design view panel. And I want to bring in an image. And let's bring in the uh, Over the Rhine logo. So the first thing I'm going to do is come here to the components panel and pull over an image component. And I'm going to load this image component with the Over the Rhine logo. So let's t take a look here. In my images folder, I have an OTR logo. All you have to do to put that into the images container is come over here to the other side to the Flex Properties panel. And in the Flex Properties panel, there's a little folder here called Source. Click on that, double click, and navigate to the images folder and look for that logo. OTR. All right. And there you have you've loaded it right into the Flex project. Now let's go back to source view and see what we've done. In source view you can see we've added this line of code. M image is line of code. MX image its position, its width, its height and its source. So all that was created automatically. Now I could actually type that code in by hand and sometimes I will. So one of the keys in Flex is to go back and forth between design and source view to create your projects. And we'll get a lot of experience doing this during the course of this multi-part series. Now let's run it and see what it's going to look like. So come up here to this green button. It says run. So we'll click on that. And go ahead and accept this. We'll save the project for you automatically. And it's building the project. And this can take a while. Now, once you've built the project and you put it on the web, it doesn't take this long for it to uh, run. So, congratulations, you've built your first web page in Flex, a simple image on the screen. But from here on, we're going to take it a lot further. So, stay tuned.